Hello, I'm Penny, ComputerShare's virtual agent. If you sold stock during a taxation year through ComputerShare, you'll most likely receive Form 1099-B from us. In this short video, I will highlight some of the information that appears on the form. If you did not sell stock through ComputerShare, your form probably looks a little different, but the key information is the same as what we will cover in this video. Before we look at the form itself, you should know that in a few situations, ComputerShare will not issue Form 1099-B, even if a sale of stock occurred on your account. If the proceeds of the sale were under $20, there was no withholding tax, and the transaction involved only fractional shares, you will not receive Form 1099-B from ComputerShare. So let's begin our review with the front of the form. On the front of the form, you can see your name and address, your account number on ComputerShare records, and the company code for the company you're investing in. We print a control number on your form so that you can securely import your data into tax filing software. You should contact your tax preparation software provider for information specific to their tax software. Under your personal data, we printed important information related to the form, as well as instructions for you, the recipient of the form. Back of the form is really what the form is all about. This section is where ComputerShare prints the amounts we report to the IRS on your behalf. Your personal information is repeated at the top of the form, you can see that for your protection, your tax identification number only shows the last four digits of your ID number. The form we file with the IRS always includes the complete ID number. If the applicable checkbox on Form 8949 column contains a letter, such as A, B, or C, you must check the corresponding box on Form 8949. Box 1A shows a description of the transaction for which ComputerShare is reporting the proceeds, including the number of shares sold. Box 1B shows the date on which the shares were acquired. Note that the acquired date may not match the date of the original purchase if adjustments due to a wash sale were necessary. When the word multiple appears on the form, it means the shares were acquired on a number of different dates. On the computer share form, we provide details of these share lots on the last page. Box 1C shows the date of the transaction. This is the date of the sale. Box 1D shows the total price at which you sold the shares, less any sales fees. The amount corresponds to the sale price of each share multiplied by the number of shares you sold, less any sales fees. This is the amount the payer, in this case computer share, reports to the IRS. Box 1E shows the cost basis of the shares you sold. Put simply, the cost basis is the price you paid to acquire the shares, adjusted for any fees, commissions, or wash sale losses that were disallowed. Box 1G shows information about non-deductible losses in a wash sale transaction. IRS regulations state that you cannot claim a loss on the sale of securities if you acquire identical shares within 30 days before or after the sale. If box 5 is checked, the shares sold are non-covered and boxes 1B, 1E, 1G, and 2 might be blank. Box 2 shows the type of gain or loss. The short-term and long-term classifications pertain to short-term gain or loss and long-term gain or loss. Shares you sell within one year of acquisition are considered short-term. 
if box 2 shows ordinary, your security may be subject to special rules. If box 12 is checked, it means ComputerShare has reported the cost basis information to the IRS. Box 4 shows the amount of income tax withheld from the payment and remitted to the IRS on your behalf. Boxes 14, 15, and 16 will only contain information if state taxes were withheld from the proceeds of the sale and only apply to certain states. The last pages of the ComputerShare 1099B mailing provide you with additional information and aren't part of the IRS form. This part of the 1099B mailing is referred to as the Information Statement. ComputerShare provides this information to help you reconcile your transactions with the amounts reported to the IRS on your behalf. Remember that if you did not sell the shares through ComputerShare, your 1099B may not include this additional information. These pages show details related to the individual share lots included in the sales. You can see the date acquired, as well as the cost basis, which is usually the price paid, for each share lot. Remember that both the acquisition date and the cost basis may have been adjusted for any wash sale loss that was disallowed. These last pages also provide you with the gain or loss related to each individual lot. For non-covered transactions, the cost basis, type of gain or loss, and gain or loss columns may be blank if the cost basis information isn't available to ComputerShare. We suggest that you or your tax advisor perform your own calculations to determine the actual gains and losses you must report to the IRS. For information related to cost basis, please consult with your tax advisor or refer to our website at the address on the screen.